Hey everybody, today's Elementor tutorial is um, about adding additional content to sliders. But before we begin, I just would like to say hang around to the end to see um, something else I've been working on, hopefully, which will be as exciting for you as it was for me. Now, jumping into sliders, I don't like sliders, uh, simply put, and neither do a lot of users, and there's a lot of research to show this, and also neither do SEOs. But a question came up on the Elementor Facebook group on how to add free buttons to your slider. Now currently when we look at the slider we have set up here is we are limited to the content of a title, description and a button. But what a lot of people may not know is the description field can actually handle HTML and including shortcodes. So all we have to simply do is to remove our description. We're going to quickly jump to the back end where we have a template set up for our free buttons and we're gonna jump back to the front end and paste that into the description field. Again, at the back end, you don't see any changes. Um, it only happens when you publish. Now, whilst we're here, we don't need the additional button that's already part of the widget, so we just delete the text and bang goes that button. So now when we then jump to the front end and view the page, what we can now see is our slider with our free buttons. Now, you effectively can put any type of content using this method into those description fields but also be mindful that other widgets have text boxes that can also contain html and shortcodes so you can play around as much as you like so hopefully that helps um, just to quickly cover off on what i hinted at at the start of the video was actually i have here is my elemental navigation widget currently nested within the actual navigation bar in the generate press theme. Now the benefit of the way this has been done is it also becomes part of the sticky header. So hopefully I'll release a tutorial soon on how you go about doing that, but that's it from me.